Welcome back. This is the Whiskey Couch, the place where we don't hesitate to experiment with whiskey and food. Your hosts today, South Africa's whiskey couple, Gustav and Elna. And you are watching Whiskey Tasting and Food Bearing Review number 276. I was especially excited about this review of the Goldrens being a Campbelltown Fan. So we're looking at another no age statement expression from the family owned Douglas Lane and Company, independent bottlers since 1948 and um, family owned, like I've said, and the name Goldrens means Stormy Bay and it refers to a remote, very stormy, isolated region in the southwest corner of Scotland. So there we go. There we go. The bottle. This is after our previous review where we reviewed the Epicurean, a combination or a married blended malt consisting of lowland single malts, whereas this is a blended malt consisting of Campbelltown single malts. There is some description. If you want to pause the video, then you can read all about it on the back of the bottle. So, matured in oak casks. And it's got an ABV of 46.2%. And all the boxes are ticked, non chill filtered, natural color. I'm excited. So, you can trust the color. You can make all sorts of conclusions, even based on only the color. I would say yellow gold. There is quite a light color, yes, which I'm not too excited about. I would have wished that there was a bit of a sherry cask influence, but from the color, it doesn't seem like oh, that yellow gold. Yeah. is the case. So here we go, Goldrens on the nose. Mm, sweet, sweet vanilla. Honey beer. Mmm, sea the, salt. The honey, but I'll say honey oatmeal. Honey oatmeal cookies. It's 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 a wonderful aroma, and it combines the honey with the, the sweet uh, with vanilla. with the oatmeal, the almost the pastry. Yes. Quality yes. on on the nose, and then also some sweet fruit candy. Elna, I can't I like wait. Mm. Let's go and see what happens on the ballot. Honey. Unexpectedly sweet. Sweet mm. vanilla. And then the salty maritime mm. notes. Yes. yes. You've got that extreme sweetness and the saltiness. Uh, a, a wonderful sweet and salty combination on the palate. Mm. And I also get caramelized brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Pear mm -hmm. cider. And the reason, the fact that I am picking up pears means that we have some ex bourbon casks mm. involved here. And probably, first of all, if I have to guess, based on the intensity of the sweetness and then as I'm sitting here there there's apart from the pears there's the citrus but lemon lemony lemon meringue lemon with the sweet mm. lemon meringue flavors but interesting enough I also get a hint of peat but only a it hint. is there it is but, there but it's very subtle and it is not surprising coming from Campbelltown because you've got all the um where is our Campbelltown whiskies? You've got the Glen Scotia and the Kilkerran and the um, the Hazelburn and the Springbank and the Long Row. The Long Row being the peated um, version bottling from, from Springbank. So not surprising. What about the finish? What do you pick up on the finish? The finish is medium. It's not well, that it's long. Not, not that long, but it's medium. I'm actually disappointed that it that it disappears so extremely quickly. Mm. So, and then a bit of oak spice 
envelope capturing that sweet vanilla and everything yes. else that we've yes. that we've tasted. If you do the drop in the palm test, which I've described in previous videos, I've in the meantime added some water, but the drop in the palm test gives you some honey bread crust, almost like burnt honey bread crust aromas and the empty glass test gives you fruit cake with vanilla icing so so mm. quite different mm. uh, a fair bit of complexity in this dram so after water the nose is now fruity but fruity candy cookie dough maritime notes with that peaty hint of peat smoke element and on the palate No. I prefer I prefer this whiskey without water. Please don't add water. No. Drink it as is, okay. even if it's 46.2%. The water yeah. just makes it go yeah. bam. But the nose as well. Flat. With the water, the nose is not that um that Yo. wonderful aromas that we had without water. I'm looking forward to the mm. next video. In the next video, we are going to compare all five. Epicurean, Scallywag, Timorous Beastie, Rock Oyster and Goldrins and we're going to determine which is our favourite. I'm really looking forward to that because being a Campbelltown fan, I think my expectations was a bit too high. Now, it is true that this is batch 01. It said right there in the corner batch 01 and apparently the following batches were better compared okay. to this one okay so maybe we've got like the bottom end of the okay of the range of the range of batches i think three batches have been released so far okay i am not that sure uh, around 900 rand in south africa translates to 45 pounds um and about 55 60 dollars us dollars and i'm excited about the bearing the flavor companion that we have chosen for the goldens because of this sweet and salty combination i was thinking smoky um salty bacon bits on using the american term pancakes whereas we in south africa say plot cookies mm. on pancakes drizzled with honey mouth watering stuff look at that Pancake, honey drizzle, smoky, salty, bacon bits. Do you think you can Let's you can try. get a bit yeah. there? I've cut wedges for us just to make it a little bit easier. Easy. There you go. Let's see if I can scoop up my portion here. Uh, just the portion that I've cut to make it easier. Here we go. It's a nice snack. Mm -hmm. As you tasted the aroma of the whiskey. Mm. We will have to repeat this with a dram with no water added. Yes. Because I, I think it is going to be even better. But as is, I mm. quite enjoy this pairing. Yes. I think it, yes. it fits perfectly. The sweet and salty, mm. sweet and salty, the honey element. Mm. No, the pairing is very good. The pairing is good. But I agree with you. With mm. Let's try it without water. It brings out a bit more of the fruitiness, the fresh fruitiness. The pears and the apricot and the citrus come out a bit more. And the spicy envelope gets more of a kick mm. with this pairing. Yes. Which for me enhances the taste experience. It, it gives it a bit more, more punch mm. for me. I agree. No, I agree with you. So here we go. Mm. Goldrins Campbelltown Blended Malt. In the next video, the comparison of the five Douglas Lang and Company expressions. Mm. Of which you can see the gift boxes here right behind us. Until that video, Slonja.